Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yacht Sales, and today I want to take you on board Cheetah, a 2007 Dudley Dix 55. Uh, they started the haul in 2007, but she was actually launched in 2009, and she's definitely one of the more unique boats I've been on lately. If you're in the market for a performance cruising catamaran, this is something I definitely would take a close look at. I'll have the full spec sheet in the description down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and have a good day. The uh, starboard trigger scoop. You can see the uh, davit set up there. It's also worth mentioning, I mean, this is a performance sailing boat and it's got really good bridge deck clearance. Nice wide decks, tons of solar. I mean, like, I, you know, this boat, was designed to take the owner around the world for the, his second circumnavigation. Did it before in a monohull and uh, decided for the second time he was gonna do it in a catamaran. Unfortunately, he never got the opportunity to take this boat around the world. Huge foredeck area. Single spreader rig. And then we've got the cockpit where all the line handling happens. So it makes this boat pretty easy to shorthand sail with everything running here, especially it's got a self-tacking head sail too. Got a lot of storage in these forward lazarettes. Everything on this boat just feels really, really solid. Yeah, I've mentioned already that this boat was designed to sail around the world. And so, you know, little details like having rain catchers molded into the hardtop is a really nice touch. And a couple of steps takes us right back down into the cockpit where we've got, uh, you know, two sun beds or day beds to port. A nice little cockpit table and then another day bed above that let's go ahead and jump inside and take a look around as you step into the salon on cheetah the first thing you'll notice is just how bright and airy it is the headrooms carried all the way forward and it's just a really really nice salon so port aft we've got a nice settee for you could sit you know six or eight there up port forward, we've got the uh, galley with plenty of cold storage. Both a uh, top loading freezer here, as well as a refrigerator unit over here on the other side, and uh, plenty more cold storage throughout the boat. Good visibility here from the galley. I'll do a little pano. Center line on the uh, boat, we've got the uh, helm. It is an internal helm, although you've got very easy access to all the sail control lines. Now this is a, a Dix design, as I've already mentioned, and uh, this boat has hit 18 plus knots in cruising mode. Uh, complete rocket ship. Good visibility from the helm. They did a really good job, I think, building this boat with the uh, the woodwork. I mean, it all just looks really, really well done. Got our distribution panel over here, just on the starboard side of the helm, as well as our nav station here with solar controllers, radio, and the uh, 220 or 240 panel there, panel there as well. I'll do another little pano here. That's a nice little. Leopard uh, 47 with the hard top right next door. So it's got louvered steps so you can get up to the hard top.
but they're not the narrow louvered steps like on a leopard. I actually wasn't sure I was going to like that design until I got on the boat, and I think they did a pretty nice job executing it. We're going to go down the starboard hall first. This is the starboard aft cabin. Nice size berth, although it's not a walk around, so you do have to crawl up in there, but really nice size. This uh, boat was actually the owner of it, had already done one circumnavigation over 11 years in a monohull, and he built this boat specifically to do a second circumnavigation. So we've got the uh, head here with shower. While it is a wet head, it is a really large space, and the shower's far enough away that I think it would, would probably stay fairly dry. Going up starboard forward, we've got our second guest cabin. Also the control for the uh, sea recovery water maker and a berth. Now this head for the port starboard forward cabin also is kind of like a day head since you can access it from the companionway. And this one does have a separate shower stall too. Just really impressed with the overall quality of the woodwork on the boat. I mean, I know it's sometimes hard to see in a video, but just look at the look at the cabin sole there. Really, really well done. We're gonna jet across the salon and do another little pano for y'all. I'm gonna cut across the salon now and take a look at the owner's stateroom. Everything on this boat is just really well thought out. I was fortunate when I got out here the owner was actually on the boat giving it a wash down he had just taken it out sailing with his grandkids yesterday and uh, was cleaning it and you can tell there's just a lot of love that's been put into this boat so this aft berth in the master stateroom kind of mirrors that of the starboard side although instead of having the head there we've got a uh, vanity or a small desk plenty of storage Oh, this is kind of cool. The owner actually took that uh, took that photo. I think the name Sheet is a good name for a catamaran, especially a fast catamaran. So this is the uh, the shower up forward, as well as the uh, vanity. And then we've got a second sink here, and then the uh, third head. So a really well laid out owner's head. So that's the uh, Dix Fifty Five Cheetah. If you have any questions on the boat, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.